guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, I tried Chloe Ting's two-week shred challenge, and I'm super excited to share with you guys my results. Not only did I get results from the challenge, but I also feel way lighter, way more energized. Um, I've noticed that I've gained like a lot more upper body strength. Um, also leg strength because this workout. It works your abs, your arms, your legs. So you're getting a full body workout basically, and it's only two weeks. It's not that bad, but I mean, you won't know unless you try it. So I definitely would recommend you guys try this out, but enough of me talking. Let's get into like each of the days. So for day one through four, that was like the worst days of the, um, the program hated it could not do any of the exercises full out especially I could not do the up and down plank or the burpees at all like I just had no upper body strength I could not hold myself up for the planks I was tired took a break but day one through four was horrible I did not eat healthy during those days um and yeah Day five or six, it started getting a little bit better, but I still needed to like take breaks. So like if a workout was 30 seconds, I could probably only do it for about 15. For example, if the workout was like 30 seconds, I could only do 15 seconds of it. And then I needed the other 15 seconds to take a break. Plus the switch in between seconds that she gives. So once I got to day seven, I decided that I was going to start eating healthier as well as um drinking only water so from day 7 to four, day 14 i ate healthier i had no snacks so no chips no ice cream no candy no cold drinks no juices it was just only water and then i also drank this slimming green tea that's supposed to like aid in losing weight when you're working out so those were the only two things that i drank um, I'll try to link that down below if you want to check it out and it was blueberry flavored so it wasn't really bad because I'm not really a person that likes green tea but because it had blueberry flavor in it it was way easier for me to drink it and now since I've drunk it at so much now it does not taste bad it honestly is just like any other drink so yeah day 7 through 14 was a breeze honestly well not a breeze scratch that scratch that day 7 to day 14 was easier I was able to do like the planks the up and down plank the burpees um what else did we have to do just all the exercises that were like super hard I was able to get through like all of the workouts I didn't have to like split them up or anything so like if there, it was like four videos in one day I was able to just like go straight through the four videos without any breaks or anything uh, the things that I ate I ate a lot of salad so I feel like that kind of aided in me like losing some losing like some of my waste um and then like drinking only water because I noticed that I wasn't as bloated anymore and I also noticed that um but yeah like I was saying I wasn't as bloated as I usually was after eating or anything because but I feel like it was because I was eating healthier options and also what I was doing was instead of like eating until like I was full I would stop eating and then wait 20 minutes to see if I was still hungry or not and if I wasn't then I knew I didn't need to eat anymore but if I still was hungry then I would get like a little bit more of something so that was kind of what I did and I feel like that really helps a lot while doing the challenge I feel like if I just would I feel like I wouldn't have seen or felt different if I was still eating the same like still eating fast food every single day still eating like candy and chips and stuff like that I feel like I wouldn't have seen results like I did eating healthier but yeah on some days I used ankle weights and they were only like two or five pounds nothing too major but I didn't really use them the whole time I say I probably used the ankle weights about four or five times 
out of the 14 days. And I also, every time I worked out, I used my waist trainer. So that could have possibly helped as well. But yeah, so enough of talking about that. You guys know a little bit about what I ate, what I did. Try it out. I don't know. Maybe that's what helped. But let's get into the before and the after picture and videos. You guys, so this is how my stomach looks now. This is day one. As y'all can see, I kind of have like this pudge. And it's fat. It's not solid. So, your girl is fat. Well, not fat, but just not any jiggles. We don't like that. We don't want that. So, yeah. And then also I have, like, these fat lines. But, like, when I hunch over, you see where it creases? It makes these lines. So that's just, like, indication that I need to get rid of some excess fat. My waist is... Can y'all see? Oh, shoot. 27. <laughs> Today is day seven, so I still have seven more days to go. And I haven't did my workout for today yet, but this is how my stomach is looking so far. So you guys, after seeing the results, um, I don't know, comment down below what you think. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to like lose weight or like be super, super skinny. The only reason that I did the challenge was just to tone up my stomach and I feel like it did that. And I probably would do it again, but I really don't want to do those up and down planks again. But hey, it's, you have to work for the body that you want. But yeah, you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think. Um, if you tried the challenge, comment down below your results or what you did or what you think would have made it different for you. If you're thinking about doing the challenge, comment down below. And if you have a video on your channel of you doing it, comment down below because I definitely want to check it out. I've been watching everyone's videos lately. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely try this challenge out. It's only two weeks, you guys. You can do it. It's only two weeks. And in two weeks, you could have the body that you want. Like, it's, we need to be in shape, okay? Summertime, swimsuits, beaches. Even though we probably can't be there yet. Not yet. Some of y'all are going there now, but not yet. Don't fill the beach up yet. Don't, don't be going to the pools just yet. Because the virus is still out there. Coronavirus is still out there. So please be safe. But while you're still in the house, go ahead and get your body right. Okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, why haven't you? Go ahead and join the fam. We're only going up from here. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, y'all.